Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be talking about electric current. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to describe how electric currents arise and use that definition to find the electric current in a system. And by system, I mean a wire. So to talk about current, we're going to start by talking about how, how metals bond. So metals bond using something called metallic bonds. And the only thing that's really important about metallic bonds is that when metals are bonded, the electrons in their outer shell, um, in that their valence electrons, are shared between all the metals. So this creates something that we call the sea of electrons, which essentially just means that we have a bunch of electrons that are freely flowing around our wire. So what this means is that that orange section of wire that I've zoomed in into has electrons that are going into it and it has electrons that can come out of it. So charges in this wire can continuously be moving. So this idea of moving charges in the sea of electrons is what brings us to the idea of current. So current is going to be the change in charge over time. So what I mean by that is say I have this chunk of electrons right here, and I've drawn, drawn them in blue since I've been drawing my negative charges in blue. So these electrons are going to be moving from the negative terminal of that battery towards the positive terminal of the battery because our electrons are negative charges and are attracted to the positively charged terminal of the battery. And so if I have a chunk of electrons in that cylinder, they're going to move semi together through that, through this wire. And if I want to figure out the current in the wire, what I'm going to do is I'll pick a point on the wire and I will measure how much charge travels through that point at a given time. So what I'll do is I will say that my current is defined as the amount of charge that travels through a given point in one second. So I is equal to Q over T. Now, one thing that is really interesting about current and a little bit tricky is that when we first discovered that charge moved through circuits, we didn't actually know that it was electrons moving. So we didn't know that it was the negative charges that were moving. So when we talk about the direction that a current is flowing, it's actually going to be the, the opposite of the direction that our electrons are moving. So our electrons are moving to the right, but our current is going to be flowing from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of my battery. So again, current is equal to change in charge over time, but what we're measuring is a change in positive charge over time. So current is going to run the opposite direction to my charge carriers. So let's go ahead and work through a problem. So in this example, we're going to say that it takes 10 seconds for 100 coulombs of charge to pass through a marked point on a wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find the current on that wire. So I know that I is equal to Q over T. And from my problem, I know from my, from the, the problem, I know that T is equal to 10 seconds and Q is equal to 100 coulombs. So that gives me that I is equal to Q over T or 100 coulombs over 10 seconds or 10 coulombs per second, or in our SI units, 10 amperes. So the current on my wire is going to be 10 amps. So let's try a slightly more complicated problem. So what I'm going to do is I have a wire that has a current of 10 amps running through it, and I want to figure out how many electrons will pass through a point on that wire in one minute. I also have given that the charge on an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb. So I'm, because this is a more complex problem, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to list out my givens. So I know that I have a current I of 10 amps. I know that the time is one minute or 60 seconds. And I know that the charge on an electron, which I'm going to represent as little e, is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb. So 
What's my unknown? Well, first, I'm going to need to figure out charge. So we need to figure out how much charge is traveling through my circuit in that one minute, or through that point in one minute. And then I need to figure out how many electrons, which I am going to go ahead and just let me write that number E, how many electrons are moving, are generate, moving to generate that charge. So let's go ahead and write out my equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use I equals Q over T to solve for Q, and then I'm going to use some dimensional analysis to solve for the number of electrons. So I is equal to Q over T, or Q is equal to I times T, which when I sub and solve will give me Q is equal to 10 times 60, or Q is equal to 600 coulombs. So how do I go from this to electrons? Let's do some dimensional analysis and find out. So I know that I have 600 coulombs of charge And I know that there are that one electron, so one electron, which we usually represent with E minus, has 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs of charge on it. So what I'll have to do is divide that 600 coulombs by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs to figure out the number of electrons. And when I stick that in the calculator, I get that I have 3.75 times 10 to the 21st electrons traveling through that point in my wire in one minute. So that is a lot of electrons. But it's a pretty straightforward problem to solve, right? We are using our current equation to find Q, and then our dimensional analysis, something that many of you likely did a lot of in chemistry, to figure out the, how to convert from coulombs to number of electrons. So let's talk about our takeaways. So first of all, it's important to remember that metallic bonds create a sea of electrons in conductors. Second, we want to take away that current is the change in charge over time, or again, I is equal to Q over T. Finally, we need to remember that current is measured in amperes, which we represent with a capital A. So there you have it, folks. It's your turn now. Happy solving.